Hello everyone, um, today we'll be discussing the topic Leopard, Cheetah or Jaguar? What's the difference? This is a frequently asked question as a lot of people struggle to tell them apart and it's understandable they have this problem as well. After all, all three species are cats and do have a resemblance to one another with leopards and jaguars in particular looking alike. What's even worse is that sometimes pictures on the internet claiming to be of say a cheetah are wrong and are actually photographs of a leopard or a jaguar, making identification even more confusing. But if you can't tell the difference between these three cats, don't worry, because you've come to the right place. Despite all of their similarities, there are still some key differences between them that can help you tell all three species apart. So keep watching as I walk you through them, and hopefully by the end of this video, you too not, will not only be able to tell the difference between them, but be an expert at it. So let's find out. Now let's start with the main reason people get these three species confused, their spots. Leopards, jaguars and cheetahs all famously have spots that decorate their golden yellow fur. However, what you may not have noticed is that the spots of each species are slightly different from one another, making their most obvious similarity in fact one of the best ways of telling them apart. To start with, cheetahs have sol solid, ordinary black spots on their fur, also known as a pelt, but leopards and jaguars do not with them instead having markings that are called rosettes. Now a rosette is basically a ring made up of several connected black spots with a dark yellow patch of fur at its centre. This is the reason that their name is called a rosette as it looks a little bit like roses or other flowers. Jaguar rosettes are different from leopard ones as they are larger and wider with a bolder, thicker rim. Also, the rosettes of jaguars often have a small black dot in the middle of them. Leopard rosettes on the other hand are generally smaller and neater looking having a paler centre which doesn't usually have a black dot inside. However, there's one thing I should mention. Um, there's a few different types of leopard, also known as subspecies, from, that are from different parts of the world. And amongst these subspecies, coat pattern varies quite a bit. Now one type of leopard, called the Amur leopard, does have quite bold rosettes like those of a jaguar. But you can tell it's not a jaguar because it has paler fur, which is much fluffier, and it also has a bushy tail. Amur rosettes also still a bit smaller than jaguar ones. Cheetahs, leopards and jaguars also differ from one another in their facial markings. Whilst all three cats have spotted faces, cheetahs have distinct markings that the other two species do not possess. Called malar stripes, cheetahs have black lines running from the inner corner of their eyes down towards their muzzle, like this, with their markings looking a little bit like black teardrops running down their faces. Cheetahs are the only cat species with malar stripes and it is thought that these teardrops may help shade their eyes from the glare of the sunlight. The difference between the facial markings of leopards and jaguars, however, is far more subtle, with the only difference being that jaguars generally have slightly bolder and larger facial spots. But what if you can't see the markings? How can you tell the difference between the species then? This is an important problem to have because both leopards and jaguars can exhibit a thing called melanism. Now, melanism is a situation in which an animal produces a large amount of the darkly coloured pigment called melanin. As melanin is responsible for the darkness of both the skin and the fur, melanism results in an animal that is almost purely black in colour. Such melanistic leopards and jaguars, which are known as black panthers, will therefore not clearly display the rosettes that help us to see which species they belong to. Fortunately, however, we still are able to tell the difference between the cats because they have a different body shape and build. Cheetahs are the easiest to tell apart because they're built for speed. They have very light and a slender frame and long legs. They also have a very narrow waist and a deep chest in which they house their large lungs, giving them an extreme hourglass figure. With this figure, their long legs and their skinny build, you can almost think of cheetahs as like a runway model um, in the cat family. Now the leopard is a typical big cat. Strong, lean and sleek, they have extreme agility and stealth to help them being the perfect ambush predator that preys upon medium-sized herbivores such as impala and deer. Whilst fairly muscular, leopards are not overly bulky. This helps them to be very adept climbers, whilst their long tail gives them good balance while, when they are up in trees. Leopards need to be good climbers as they often drag their food up trees where it can only be stolen by lions or hyenas. Leopards are also generalists, which means they can survive in a wide range of habitats and eat a wide variety of prey, basically a jack of all trades. 
And in order to be a generalist, their body plan is suited to give them all-round athleticism. So whether that be jumping, climbing or running, leopards are good at it all. Although similar in length and shoulder height to the other two cats, jaguars are heavier and more robust than both. Jaguars clearly have a wider, more muscular frame than any cheetah. And while some very large male leopards can be fairly sturdy too, jaguars are more squat with shorter, stouter legs and a wider waist, making them poorer climbers with less agility. The reason for this difference is simple. Unlike leopards and cheetahs that have to be quick and agile to escape from large predators such as lions, tigers and hyenas in Africa and India, in their habitat, jaguars are the top dog. Jaguars are the largest predators in South America and so can afford to be more powerful in exchange for speed and agility. Also, jaguars' main prey items such as capybara, peccary and giant anteaters are generally slower moving than the deer and antelope that che cheetahs and leopards hunt so, and so require less speed and more power to predate upon. Another telling difference between jaguars and leopards is that jaguars have much shorter tails than leopards, probably because they spend less time in the trees. Overall, when it comes to physique, cheetahs are built for speed, jaguars are built for power and leopards are somewhere in the middle. With a good analogy being that cheetahs are like greyhounds, leopards like border collies, and jaguars like pit bulls. The final way of telling leopards, jaguars, and cheetahs apart is by looking at their head and their facial features. Leopards and jaguars do have quite similar heads, but there are still some pertinent differences between them. Just like their bodies, jaguars' heads are more robust than leopards, with a wide forehead, full cheeks, and broad jaws. These cheeks and jaws house powerful muscles and strong teeth, which jaguars use during hunting to crack open turtle shells and to tear through the skin of caimans. Leopards, which are far less aquatic than jaguars and who do, don't usually eat turtles, do not need such powerful jaws and so have a narrow, more slender head as a result. Cheetahs have proportionally very small heads, with eyes that are set very far up on the head and a circular face. This makes them very different in appearance to both leopards and jaguars. Their facial features themselves are also fairly distinctive too, with cheetahs having deep orange coloured eyes which are a fair bit darker than the grey blue or yellow eyes of jaguars and leopards. A more subtle facial difference is also found in cheetahs' whiskers, which are shorter and less developed than those of, of other cats. This is primarily because cheetahs are dineural, dino like humans, and so rely on vision for hunting whereas jaguars and leopards tend to be far more nocturnal and use their long whiskers to help them sense their environment during the dark. So that's it. That's all the visual differences between leopards, cheetahs and jaguars. So from now on, whether you see a picture or a video of one of these animals, you'll be able to spot the difference. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Um, I'll leave a table in the end describing all the differences so that you can have a look at. Thank you.